this is the storyboard. Basically, a five-year-old boy who um, always has nightmare. I want to say that, like, during the uni times, I wish that anyone could have told me that it's not that easy to get a job out there. I wish someone could have told me that. I wish someone said, hey, just because you're doing media, or four years of media here, doesn't mean that you're going to get a job after that. And so I've learned that having a degree doesn't mean that you can get a job. But it's good that, you know, I like to see what you're doing here because that's how you get something out there. Practical experience. That's right. Okay. So you so you feel like a practical experience is the biggest learning um, that anyone can have in terms of filmmaking. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. So over the years, obviously, you've worked on your own projects, uni projects, and you've built up that experience. And in terms of the practic- practicalities of filmmaking, what would you say are the biggest things you would try to do and try not to do? Mm. try not to do is to put too much in your films and to involve too many people you like to keep your team small yeah and um, keep it uh, focused if you were trying to make a film try to have one theme and try to flesh that out because that way when people watch it they understand the concept and that they were able to like nest it it's so like in a seven minute film you cannot talk a lot of things so in a seven minute to ten minute film you only have one concept to explore to flash out in my in my uh, you know experience that you have to have the courage and also the comfort comfort to delegate to other people okay so usually how big is your team uh, five Five. And then, <laughs> what kind the of roles? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of roles would you play within that crew or cast? There's, there's no real rules really. Okay. Um, for me, as long as they're comfortable, um, they're well fed. I think it's everyone is gonna be happy and try to take um, advice from them as well. Try to not because when you have an idea when you make film, you try to force your view into into it. Like you want to make that idea into a reality so oftentimes we forget to listen to other people so we have to be open to their input okay i really wanted to um, share my perspective the way i see the world uh, because obviously the way you see the world is different than the way i see the world what? have you used this character at all yeah in your animation? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's an animated oh, yeah. kind of character. I see that. Yeah. It's quite cute. This is um, a five-year-old boy who always have nightmares. And then he just, you know, he wants to um, kill that nightmare by having, you know, having a go at the, at, at, at the enemies. I see. So is it, does he have superpowers or something? Um, yeah. Well, he's got like, you know, like a wrench that be- can become big. So this is the storyboard. Basically, a five-year-old boy who um, always has nightmare. I and just raise it up a little bit. A little bit up there. Just, yeah, thank you. Okay. So he always has a nightmare? Yeah, he always has nightmare. And until one day, he has to confront it. I see. Just tilt, tilt the screen a little bit towards here, please. Towards? Yeah, just uh, actually tilt it this way. Sorry. Like that? Yeah, better, yeah. thank you. What's his name? Uh, Max. Max. Which film is he in? He's in um, called Dream. Dream. Yeah. And how did you come up with his character? Well, um, just uh, out of random. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. But um, I asked my friend to uh, flesh it out. Oh, like, okay. oh, I have this. Um, how do you create a five-year-old kid, a cute five-year-old kid, and what does he need to have? And then. Um, the girl who I work with created the concept art, oh. the ranch. Funny enough, um, this is just a storyboard, right? Like when we put it on Kickstarter, we need to create rewards. So when they fund us, they back us, we need to create like some sort of like toys. Oh, 
or tabletop. And so we decided to create a, a tabletop of the character or characters because they were not only the character, the main character, but there are toys, other toys. So we put that out as a as a reward gift. I see. Yeah, That's and then cool. we we try to like. Oh, nice. Concept. Is that like a 3D model or? Yeah, 3D model, yeah. Nice. And we put the name of the backer. Just oh, underneath. nice. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So th- did you have, where, where did you get it manufactured? Um, from France. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You imported it? Imported it. Wow. Oh, wow. So we work on a website called, um, I think, I Materialize. And then that's why the funds are really like so much. Like we had to like, like we have to pay for the shipping and oh, everything yeah, like yeah. that and then when i went to japan like i got the idea oh, nice yes the idea of the the character with the big head and so i thought okay just for this reward thing why don't we make the, the guy the character max have a big head and then small body you have to have a good idea that they see that that they want to back what is it what's in it for them too so I thought having that reward gift was something really cute for them. That, that, that's pretty good. Like, we, I, actually, I've always wanted to start a Kickstarter myself, but I've never tried. Yeah, you have to like, um, I guess with the marketing part, you have to like really diligent. I have to keep telling people, hey, we're making a short film. It's about this, you know, blah, 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 blah. Would you like to... I see. And then they get sure. a... Like they get a reward and stuff like that. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Some people don't even want to get the rewards because they oh, wanted to support you, but that's good. Yeah. That's excellent. So, so have you um, amassed a bit of a fan base or like some backers yes. and support? Correct. Over that's what you have to do yeah. before anything. At least you have to have like a six months period of building your fan base on Reddit, on your favorite forum websites, and then after that then you start building a month before your launch you have to tell them that hey i'm creating this film it would be great if you could share it okay yeah. so you reach out and then on the on the internet online you reach out to people and tell them about your film and you promote it six months before during the launch and even after yeah. as well what i didn't do was um the six months part so i didn't know about that and um, what i did was compiled the the stories the pictures and what we've done so far and then a little bit of my introduction and my team's introduction and where the funds are going to go to and then after that we just click upload and then we didn't know that the first day second day that there are no money coming in unless you work yeah. on it unless you share it to people the drawing challenge Yep. That's hair. It's hair and face. That's his ears. And then his neck. And then his sh- shoulders. <laughs> Am I getting there? Am I right at all? You just got the hair right. I got the hair right. Yeah. But not this? everything else. No. <laughs> what is it? What is, oh, are those eyes? It's a cartoon version of Dragon Ball Z. Is it? Yeah, for um, So when you were doing that, was it the, the ears that's, or the no, eyes? No, that's the hands. That's the and hands. And then the legs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So hey, at least I got one. It feels like an animal with four legs. Yes, correct. A, a horse? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna it's guess. got long legs. It's got long giraffes. A long neck. Rich giraffe. Oh. It's a brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> it's a bit hard, to be honest. Like, hey, dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Wow. Okay, I see the hair. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, flowers. Yes. I see that. I see that. <laughs> it took a while. Can you guess what this thing is? Because um, I drew the flowers around it. Yes. Oh, wow. The grass is a little tall. We'll yeah, do... my grass is tall. Nice. All right, we'll do one more. Uh, you can have one more. Let's okay. One more. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. My God, I'm so lost. <laughs> huh? Is I, that? I'm so lost. Yeah, 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 again. Okay, try again. That feels like waves to me, but keep going. Sorry, Hand that was my in initial the reaction. Ding, 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 ding. And of course, this line. Is it like a mechanical object? No, it's what you draw when you're like two year old. When you like to erode. Two years old. Two years old. Yeah, it's a very basic. Picture. Oh my god, try it again, sorry. It's like, <laughs> here it is. is it okay, mountains? Like? Yes, mountains. mountains. Yeah. Yep. And then there's this thing in the middle. Okay. That's the sun. The sun? sun? Yes. Okay. And then that's obviously the horizon. Yep, alright. Then... It's a triangle with like little stuff in between. That is like the road. Oh. Is it? <laughs> Oh. Okay, we'll do one more for the side. I think we'll do one more for the side. Excellent. We'll no, that's good. <laughs> I just couldn't see it. Yeah. Alright, um, one more for me. Yeah. Should I do a hard one? Yeah, no. Because I, oh. No? So hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do an easy one. Easy one. Okay, so cool. Okay. Okay, it's a stick figure holding yep. um flower. Uh, it was a stick figure be... with a... Should I keep going? I'm, I'm, I, I'm actually... That's my drawing. <laughs> that's done. <laughs> hey guys, so comment below on what you think this is. And we've got a prize for if you guess it correctly. And that prize is brownie points. So have fun commenting. I made it easier. I had to hold it. Yeah. You know what that is? It, it's a bar? Huh? It's a bar. It's like a like a little monkey bar or something. Oh, it's a... It's this thing. Boom mic. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think I don't think anyone can guess that. Is it still rolling? The answer is boom mic. Oh my god. Good. Thanks for hanging with us on the Convo Couch. And thank you to Yogo for coming along too. Thanks for having me. Don't forget to check out the links to his works below. And subscribe too. See you next time. So just a little advice to everyone who wants to make it big time is that first you have to find a mentor. And the second thing is you um, mingle with everyone that you want to be um, like. So that's pretty much it. Excellent. And do you have anything you want to plug, like a new film or a film? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs>